Hello everyone! Welcome to our Fundamentals in Accountancy, Business, and Management 2, or simply Accounting 2. We have to answer today the Activity 9, okay? If you want to join me now, please do. Then, here it is, Activity 2, uh, Activity 9, okay? Activity 9 tells us to prepare the vertical and horizontal analysis, okay? So, when we say vertical analysis, again, what is the vertical analysis? We compare one asset, one account to the total, as, to the total of, of its account. For example, if it is an asset account, cash account to the total assets. Liability account to the total liabilities account. Okay, so that is the vertical analysis. And when we prepare the horizontal analysis, we are talking about the, the increase, decrease on the two years. At least two years, increase, decrease, or no decrease at all of each account. Okay, of each account from one year to the other year. Okay, so that's it. Now let's start with this. Uh, we are we, we do have here the assets of 2019 and 2018 assets liabilities equity and the sales account or the income statement accounts okay let's start with the assets account so to to compute for the horizontal analysis we get the peso change so we get the peso change of two years that is Again, the formula, the current year minus the previous year over the previous year, then that's the horizontal percentage change. So in this case, cash account is 4,300,000 minus 1 million divided by 1 million will give you how much percentage change. That is a 330% increase. Okay. So, same thing with um, merchandise inventory. If you will look at your merchandise inventory, uh, it is 2018 is 20,000. 2019 is 10,000. So, 10,000 minus 20,000 divided by 20,000 will give you a decrease because there is a decrease in inventory a decrease or a negative 50%. Okay, with the equipment, we have 300,000 from 2018. Also, it decreased again in 2019. It became 150. So, 150,000 less 300,000 divided by 300,000 will give you how much? 50%. So, that it's a negative because there is a decrease in the account of equipment okay so the same thing with the total assets okay so again let me repeat the horizontal analysis we are looking for the trend analysis what do you mean by trend analysis we are looking for the increase or decrease or no decrease at all of some accounts in comparison from the previous year to the current year okay now let's go to the vertical analysis of the assets to compute for the vertical analysis again what is a vertical analysis that is a common size statement analysis that we're in for example in the asset account we compare one asset account to the total asset account in this case asset uh Cash account has 4,300,000. So you divide it by 4,460,000. It will give you how much? 96.41%. Meaning your cash of 4,300,000 is 96.41% of the total assets of your which is 4,460,000. Okay, let's continue. Your merchandise inventory of 10,000 divided by the total assets of 4,460, it will give you 0.22%. So that means 
your merchandise inventory is only 0.22% of your total assets. Okay, so the equipment, uh, equipment is 150,000 divided by 4,460,000 is how much? That is 3, I can't read again, it's 3.36%. So that means your equipment is 3.36% of the total assets. So when you when you sum up all the percentages, it will give you 100%. Your cash is 96.41% of the total assets. Your merchandise inventory is 0.22% of your total assets. Your equipment is 3.36%. 36% of the total assets. So your total asset is the 100%. Again, in vertical analysis, you have to find out for the base base account here, which is in this case in the asset in the asset account, it is the total asset which becomes your base account. Okay? So that's it. Uh, but in the vertical analysis, we still have for the second for 2018. The answer is 75.7% for cash, 1.5% for merchandise inventory, equipment is 22.7%, a total of 100%. Okay, so next we go to the liability section. Okay, for the liability section, your base, your base account is the total liabilities. Okay, this this, the total liabilities will be your base account. So that means you compare your, your, uh, no, for the, let's do first the horizontal. Okay, the one on the, on the top is about the horizontal analysis. Again, horizontal analysis is a comparison of two years, at least, at least two years. Okay, so when we compare 2018 to 2019, again, the formula is the same. We get the peso change. The current of 35,000 minus the previous of 320,000 divided by the previous of 320,000, it will give you how much? I think it's, I really can't read. It's more than, I don't know. Uh, but it's a negative. Is it 89.5% or 79? Yes, yes. It's 79%, 7, I, I can't get it. Okay, that's, I think it's 89.5%. And for the bank loans payable, we compare again the current 1 million minus the 500,000. Is that 1 million? Yes. 1 million less the 500,000 divided by 500,000. So there is a, an increase of 26 or 29%. Okay, so that is the horizontal analysis. We are getting the increase or decrease in the asset of each account and compare it from one year from the previous year to the current year. Okay, now let's go to the liabilities for the vertical analysis. Again, for the vertical analysis, how do we compute for the vertical analysis? We compare one account to the base account, which in this case. The accounts payable of 15,000, uh, is it 15? No, 35. The 35,000 accounts payable over 1,035,000 will give you how much? 3.38%. Is that right? Yes. It's 3.38%. Then you compare again 1 million divided by 1,035,000 will give you 96.62%. Okay, so we will be uh, we will be arriving at the hundred percent for the base account, which is the liabilities. So vertical analysis, it is a common size statement, common size analysis. Okay, and then the the vertical analysis, this these percentages can be compared to the what to the industry standard. Maybe if this is for example only if this is Jollibee. Philip Jollibee Philippines, you can compare the performance of Jollibee Philippines to another this another company of the same industry. Okay, maybe you want to compare it to to okay. Let's not use Jollibee. 
let's use ABC company because I think the name of the company here is ABC. So ABC company, 3.38% of, of amount accounts payable can be compared to DEF company of the same industry. Okay, so this amount, these percentages can be compared to other industries. Okay, to other companies. Now, let's go to the in our owner's equity account. Okay, when we reach the owner's equity account, the horizontal analysis, again, how do we do the horizontal analysis? We get the change, increase, increase or decrease in each account and compared to the current the current to the previous to the previous year so in this case 500,000 minus 100,000 divided by the previous year of 100,000 it will give you a 400% increase okay so again in the drawing account there is no drawing account in 2018 Okay, so for the horizontal analysis, we cannot compare. Okay, so for the income, okay, here, 2,935,000 minus the previous year of 400,000 over the previous year of 400,000 will give you 634%. So there was an increase in the income from year 2018 to year 2019. The increase was 600%. 634%. Okay, now let's go to the vertical analysis. The vertical analysis, analysis means you compare one account to the base account. So in this case, we will compare 500,000 to the base account of to, of total equity of 3,475,000. It will give you how much? 34, is that 34.6%? Okay, then the 10,000, 10,000 drawing divided by 3,425,000 will give you how much? I think that is, I can't see really, that's 0.3. Why negative? Because there is, it's a, it's a negative 10 divided by the positive, so it will give you a negative 0.3% uh, as this vertical analysis negative okay the drawing account the income account is 2,935,000 over the total equity of 3,475,000 it contains 85.70% so that means our total the, the income is 85% of the total equity okay the, the income generated for 2018 is this for 2019, the income generated for 2019 is 85% of the total equity. And the owner's equity is 34, oh, is this 34 or 24? 24.6% of the total equity. Okay. So next, and now let's go to the income statement. So when we do the horizontal analysis for the, for the income statement, the same rule applies. We the horizontal analysis we compare one one account to the uh, from one year to the other year for example sales account of 2019 we compare it to the sales account of 2018 how do we do that the current year to 1 million minus the previous year of 500,000 divided by 500,000 will give you how much i think that's 500% I, I can't see. I think yes, that's 500% increase. The five hundred five the income of twenty uh, the sales of five hundred thousand increased to three million. So there was a five hundred percent increase. Okay, the cost of goods sold there is an increase also. So sixty thousand minus fifty thousand divided by fifty thousand will give you a, I think that's 20%, okay? So that's a 20% increase. Now let's go to the gross profit. The gross profit here is how much? 2 million, what's that? 2 million 940 minus 450,000 
divided by 450,000 will give you how much? That's an increase. Okay, an increase in gross profit by 553%. Okay. Now the expense account, okay, 5,000 minus 50,000 divided by 50,000 will give you a what? A negative, I think that's a decrease of 90%, okay? Decrease in expense. So th that's a negative 90%. And so the net income like also increase because of the following changes above. So the net income increased from 400 to 9,935,000 9, and that is how much increase was was uh, was the performance of 2019? Yes, the performance was 634% increase in the net income. Okay, now let's go to the vertical analysis. Again, for the vertical analysis, we are looking for the common size <coughs> for the <coughs> for the common size state uh, common size analysis. Okay, we compare the sales account. Every account is compared to the sales. Okay, so here the 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 base account is the sales. So the base account is the sales, which is the one hundred percent. So the cost of goods sold is how much? There was a decrease. How much is it? I can't see. Wait. We will compare sixty thousand over one million. Will give you how much? Well, that is only two percent of the sales. Then two million nine hundred forty is your gross profit over three million. That is how much percent? 90 is that 98 yes i think that's 98 percent and the expenses of 5000 over the 3 million will give you how much i think that's only 0.16 percent uh, so you will notice that the sales is 100 percent then the cost of goods sold is two percent 100 minus two will give you a gross profit in percentage of 98% minus the expense of 0.16 so your net income is 97 point how much is that 97.83% of the sales okay did we get it so if you get your answers right if your answers are correct or the same as this congratulations okay so that is for our vertical and horizontal analysis so again thank you very much for studying with me or learning with me the vertical and horizontal analysis again this is at your service abm with teacher jonah